Hello trader and welcome. Today we have a great strategy for binary trading on pocket option. Watch this video till the end so we can take part of my profit and share this video with your friends so you can increase your chances. Let's get started. So we are on a broker. Uh, I have already analyzed and selected all the currency pairs as usual guys. We're trading on a one minute time frame as usual guys and we have today $300 and we have uh we're using bollinger bands according to the settings there's a fractal with a period of three respectively a bollinger band uh, with a period of certain deviation of two and two every side oscillators the first one i will have with a period of seven and the second one i will have with a period of 10. so that's the strategy for today for this nature of the movement i selected exactly these settings for these indicators today my main task will be to search for local maximum and minimum uh, also careful assessment and anal analysis of the movement uh, inside the bollinger bands and of course i will also watch the overbought and oversold areas on my oscillators so I also left them as default, 70 and 30. Overall, simple strategy, uh, I trade it often. I think there should be no questions. I will open on one minute and we will start with a half of my balance, namely $150. So let's get started. I will select the first currency pair for our session. Okay, so in this concept pair, there's a global minimum forming. So I will open position uh, in the opposite direction and count on a rollback of the dynamics. Also here, I touch the lower Bollinger band, and after for this, after this touch, you need to use either a breakout strategy to continue the trend or to a pullback dynamic in my case i choose uh, just the break pullback dynamic i think that their local minimum uh the moving line of the oscillator is in the oversold area so i also think that there will be an upward movement so let's look at the results why not small impulse of a movement already went upstairs now very slow traffic dynamics And we're in the profits. That's great, guys. Uh, we're in the profits. So yeah, dynamic of the movement are not so strong. Most likely there may be a continuation of the downward trend. But in general, I hit the correct opening level and the entry logic was correct. So I closed the trade uh, with the plus. Let's continue and select the next currency. Right, 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 right. Let's open long position here. Why not? Why not? A slightly unsuccessful opening level, I could say. I opened the trade right at the very end of the last candle, but when I opened, right during its opening, the candle showed a sharp impulse to move upward. Here I have absolutely the same logic, guys, for entering a trade as in the last one. No, so I don't even think I'll explain anything. Same thing, I also here have a global minimum formed. So let's just look at the result of this trade. We have 26 seconds, so let's just wait. Unfortunately, guys, I closed position in the red at the beginning of the opening. Of course, everything was fine. You saw that the dynamics of the movement rushed upward and I thought the deal was easily closed. But damn, unfortunately, the candle showed a sharp downward impulse and the formation of a dodge candle occurred. There's also a small percentage here for now. I'll wait for more characteristic movement dynamics to open position here but in general it's all right now i'll put the maximum of my balance in order to enter a position that suits me better uh, for better profit and i'll try to analyze in more detail so let's continue let's open short position heel here i reopen a trade against the direction of the trend and the pullback dynamics basically the strategy is based on this 
Here, uh, earlier, I touched the upper Ballinger band and a new local maximum formed. The dynamics of the movement went down a little. Of course, here I have a slightly unpleasant picture uh, of the movement, but there is a potential for further downward movement, guys. Since my moving line is in the overbought areas, so let's look at the result of these transactions. Mm, and the movement for today is not quite the same, you know. Mm, not so dynamic. So all transactions are very close to the opening level, so it's the necessary to select transactions in more detail. And yep, without any problems, our next position closed with a profit. That's good. Uh, and no problem with that. You see the strategy works. So let's update the balance. And continue. Here, long position, guys. Why? I'll tell you why. Uh, an excellent entry point, by the way, for the appearance of Green the Candle. We highlight the workspace, so it's clear to be to the naked eye, guys, that the trend has changed after the update of the global minimum. And here, everything is very simple. Rollback of the dynamics followed, touching the lower Bollinger band. I think that the further dynamics of the movement should go up. Right, right. The moving lines of the of the oscillators are in us oversold areas, so I think there should be an exit. So let's look at the result. All right, position is in profits so easily. It was quite tense, uh, all right, uh, at the last moment. I mean, since I had the previous candle, uh, showed a slight downward impulse, and the opening level was not so pleasant with it. But in general, the entry logic was absolutely correct. Uh, there is an exit from oversold areas right now. The dynamics uh, are now at least the measure of when the candle rushes upward. In general, I did everything correctly. All right, let's probably put two hundred dollars. No, let's put problem even three hundred sixty-three, and let's continue. Well, here immediately open short position in the direction of the actual dynamics of the trend, guys. Here is possible, uh, of course, I was in a hurry, of course, I don't like to open trades this way, but maybe I'll hurry up a little. This impulse uh, to move upward forced me. The upper Bollinger band is also touching, I think, uh, two fractals should form and the movement should go again in the direction of the downward trend good downward dynamics here on this currency pair also one of the oscillators touched the overbought area so let's see guys we probably had to wait a little bit but still mm, yep i had to wait a little and open a deal i was in a bit of a hurry i had to wait until the second my oscillator with the front of 10 will touch the overboard area and only then open position. Yeah, a little hasty. And now I will have to put all the balance again to reach more suitable profit for today. Let's open long here. In general, it's a good entry point. What do you think? I'll explain to you now one fact. Uh, good price rollback occurred only when my movement touched the upper Bollinger Band. But here this touch did not happen. Right here, you see? But the local maximum was updated. After the update, a small price rollback was required. I think that this rollback will be enough. I saw the appearance uh, of a new candle and opened the trade to increase for long. Let's watch till the end.
and the position is in profits nice guys uh, at the end of the closing of course there was a, again a very tense moment uh, due to the fact that the previous candle showed a sharp downward impulse before closing yeah but here the dynamics of the movement are quite controversial quite incomprehensible something like that difficult uh, and overall perhaps yeah since this maximum was not updated when touching the upper band because as you can see before the overall movement was more or less clear but here in my opinion it's a little more complicated but the entry logic was still absolutely correct though i opened again uh, the trade and the appearance of a green candle if the candle had shown a downward impulse i would not have opened the trade here in general this is the kind of the trading today guys i will be absolutely satisfied with the results of this trade so let's fix the profit and move on to conclusion all right continue button operation successfully done guys so this is the strategy for today don't forget about likes comments subscriptions of course to my youtube and telegram channel share this video with your friends try it on have a good market guys have a good profit traders bye bye